People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. A tele-reminder from Teleradio Marcelo, ang tele-aralan ng bawat malulenyo. Makinig, manood, nasa Teleradyo Makinig, manood, nasa Teleradyo Teleradyo, Teleradyo Marcelo Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa dagakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo kahit magkalayo sa programang ito tiyak ang pagkatuto Teleradyo Teleradyo Marcelo Teleradyo Teleradyo Marcelo Teleradyo Teleradyo Marcelo Makinig, panood. Pilarians, it's me again, Teacher Limwell. Are you guys ready for another exciting learning session? Great! So please keep on watching and actively participate here in MIL in a Time of Pandemic in Teleradio Marcelo and Telealaran ng Bawat Malulenyo. Today, we are going to talk on how an individual can protect his or her media produced media and information. This is the eight most essential learning competencies of MIL, which is to cite practical situation when to apply knowledge in intellectual property, copyright, and fair use guidelines. And you will also create a campaign ad to combat digital divide, addiction, and bullying. In our last virtual learning, we talk about on how to be a competent producer of media and information by discussing the different codes and convention of media. So let us have a quick recap by analyzing this video clip and comment down your answer in at least two of the sample codes and convention that is present in the video clip. These are the examples of your expected answers. Setting. Dark places and abandoned structures or buildings. Acting, impressive facial expressions and body movements. Camera work, more of aerial shot to establish the location. Audio, audio was intense and scary. Text, uses color for fonts to imply horror theme. I will repeat, comment on at least two of the sample given here based on what you have observed on the video. Magicland is in great danger and desperately needs your help. Download the Christmas challenge now. Gamers with the highest scores win and get a chance to be the saviors of Magicland. Boy, ano ba? 
So, wala ka na namang imik. Ipa naman yung batang yan eh. Masipag mag-game sa tablet niya the whole day. Nag-level up ka na ba? Yep. Would you put those phones away? Top 3 player ng Magic Land ng kapatid mo, no? Di ka naman top 1, Warrior Beast. Oh, I will be. Maghintay ka lang. Brave enough to take on the Christmas challenge, Flower Ranger? Flower Ranger? Ang jogi naman ang pangalan nito. The first four players to reach 50 million points will win the grand prize. A trip to Magic Land and a chance to defeat Magic Land's enemies. Who's si Smiley Boy? You are Flower Ranger. Hi, I'm si Mara. Warrior Beast. Paano ko naging warrior ang kakapras ng tao? Boy, malakas ako, no? Gusto mo masampulan? Kumang mo na na tayong choice! Ito na lang ang dahan! Ah! Saan na ba tayo? Mukhang nasa game na tayo. Hanapin ninyo ang inyong mga kapangyarihan. Gamitin ang mga ito para iligtas ang Magic Land. Sandali na lang at mapapasa akin ang buong Magic Land. Sandali na lang at mapapasa akin ang buong mundo. Hindi dapat malaman ni Magrodor na nagsimula na ang huling laban. Ito na ang ating huling pag-asa. Allow me to play the video again so that so that you still have time to think and comment. Magic Land is in great danger and desperately needs your help. Download the Christmas Challenge now. Gamers with the highest scores win and get a chance to be the saviors of Magic Land. Boy, ano ba? Ikaw, wala ka na namang imik. Ipa naman yung batang yan eh. Masipag mag-game sa tablet niya the whole day. Nag-level up ka na ba? Yep. Would you put those phones away? Top 3 player ng Magic Land ng kapatid mo, no? Di ka naman top 1, Warrior Beast. Oh, I will be. Maghintay ka lang. Brave enough to take on the Christmas challenge, Flower Ranger? Flower Ranger? Ang jogi naman ang pangalan nito. The first four players to reach 50 million points will win the grand prize. A trip to Magic Land and a chance to defeat Magic Land's enemies. Who's si Smiley Boy? You are Flower Ranger. Hi, I'm si Mara. Warrior Beast. Paano ko naging warrior ang kakapras ng tao? Boy, malakas ako, no? Gusto mo masampulan? Kumang mo na na tayong choice! Ito na lang ang dahan! Ah! Saan na ba tayo? Bukang nasa game na tayo. Hanapin ninyo ang inyong mga kapangyarihan. Gamitin ang mga ito para iligtas ang Magic Land. Sandali na lang at mapapasa akin ang buong Magic Land. Sandali na lang at mapapasa akin ang buong mundo. Hindi dapat malaman ni Magrodor na nagsimula na ang huling laban. Ito na ang ating huling pag-asa. Okay, let us see your answers here in our FB Live. Okay, so from 12 TBL1, Iloso Jasmine, she says that 
acting is realistic, convincing, and effective. And the audio or the audio voices were audible and well balanced, and the sound effects are very synchronized and have enhanced quality. Thank you, Jasmine. Okay, let's have another uh, answer from 12 TBL1. Ashley Jade Bautista. Okay, it says that the audio was intense and scary, especially in the part wherein they are inside of the exact game Magic Land setting. I love how amazing the per they, per they portray and did the background and setting wherein they are in another dimension all of a sudden. So thank you, Jade. Bautista Jade from 12 TBL1. Uh, great answer. So let's see. Kung meron pang mga sagot. Okay. Yeah, let's move on. The genre of the movie trailer that you have seen a while ago is characterized by stories involving conflicts between science and technology, human nature, and social organization in futuristic or fantastical worlds, which has a lot of unique and creative animation, images, and sounds often produced by means of special effects technology. Therefore, the setting should be imaginative and fanciful. Acting is usually lively and there are a lot of elements of magic effects in the camera techniques, audio, and text. All right, I hope that through this activity reminds you on the previous learning session with Mom Maria Isabel. Again, today, we will discuss about legal, ethical, and societal issues in media and information by being aware of the terminologies related on this matter. But before we dive into that, let, let us do this warm-up activity first. Try to figure out what these terms are by filling up the blank boxes. All these terms are associated in our lesson for today. I'll be giving you five seconds to answer each item by typing it in our comment section. Are you ready? Let us start. Number one. Time's up. The answer is protection. Number two. Time's up. Great. The correct answer is copyright. Number three. Time's up. Let us see if you got it right. If your answer is harassment, then you are correct. Number four. Let's check your answer. The correct word is internet addiction. Number five. Hands up. The last item is intellectual property. How is your answer? Awesome. You did a great job. In today's concept, which is more an intellectual property or IP, encompasses many things like your travel video or pictures, your favorite breakup song that reminds you of your partner, your favorite fried chicken from a famous fast food chain, and the design of a motorbike that you have been dreaming to have are all created by others' imagination and created minds, wherein all these are considered as intellectual property. This part of our topic includes intellectual property, copyright, patent, and fair use. 
trademark, and fair use. So what is intellectual property? Intellectual property or IP as defined by the World Intellectual Property Organization or WIPO is the creations of the mind such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs and symbols, names and images used in commerce. IP is protected by law that gives people the right to earn recognition or financial benefit from what they invent or create. And the law that protects IP in our country is the Republic Act Number no. 8293 or the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. This is an act prescribing the Intellectual Property Code and establishing the Intellectual Property Office, providing for its powers and functions and for other purposes. So, what is the importance of IP law? Protecting the intellectual property rights of every creators or inventors is essential in promoting creativity and innovation. Because if it will not do it, businesses and individuals would not reap the full benefits of their inventions and would focus less on research and development. But how thinkers and creators keep their IP safe from misuse by others? After all, in our digital world today, it is easy to copy an idea or design. Luckily, we have different types of IP where people can register as legal protection, such as copyright, patent, and trademark. There are several types of IP law, but today we will focus on copyright, patent, and trademark. Let us start with copyright. Okay, so copyright is a legal advice that gives the creator of literary, artistic, musical, or other creative works the sole right to publish the and sell that work. Literary and artistic works, which protects by copyrights, include books, music, painting, sculpture, films, computer programs, ads, maps, and technical drawings. Copyright do not protect ideas but rather the manner in which ideas are expressed. With certain exceptions, the copyright allows the owner of the protected materials to control the, the reproduction, new versioning or adaptations, public performance, and distribution of the works. An author may grant or sell those rights to others, including, including publishers or recording companies. This right is called economic right, which allows the rights owner to derive financial reward from the use of their works by others. It also has moral rights, which protects the non-economic interests of the author, like the right to oppose changes to a work that could harm the creator's reputation. Violation of a copyright is called infringement which happens when someone use or produce a copyright protected material without the permission of the copyright holder. For example, when a person use an original song for commercial purposes without getting the permission of the, com of the composer or owner of the material. In our country, copyright protection lasts during the lifetime of the author, plus 50 years after the author's death. Next is patent. A patent is an exclusive right that allows the inventor to exclude others from making, using, or selling the product of his invention during the life of the patent. Patent owners may also give permission or license to other parties to use their inventions on mutually agreed terms. Owners may also sell their invention rights to someone else who then become the new owner of the patent. Protection is for limited period, generally 20 years from the filing date of application. Did you know that the shoes used by Michael Jackson was patented, which he used on the video of his 1987 single, Smooth Criminal? Other examples of patentable inventions are products such as machine, 
a device, and a composition of matter or microorganisms. It could also be a process such as method of use and a method of manufacturing. Number three, trademark. A, tra a trademark is a word or group of words, sign, symbol, logo, or combination thereof that identifies and differentiates the source of the goods or services of one entity from those of others. So unlike patent, trademark protects words, phrases, symbols, sounds, smells, and color schemes that is used to distinguish or describe the features of a product or service that the company provides. The company or the, the coverage of trademark are brand names, product names, company logos, and slogans. For example, can you see the TM written in the logo of McDonald's? Same with logo of Starbucks, where you can see a letter R, which means registered. Term of trademark registration can vary, but it's usually 10 years. But it can be renewed indefinitely on payment of additional fees. Del Pilarians. Did you know that there are limitations or exemptions to copyright of intellectual property law? It is like when you copy of an entire work or portion of it, even the copyright hold holder failed to give his or her permission, fair use may be invoked in certain occasions. Because the rationale of fair use law is to balance out the interests of intellectual property owners with those who use it, which is general public. Fair use of a copyrighted work for criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarship, research, and similar purposes is not an infringement of copyright. Again, claiming fair use is more likely, likely acceptable if it is for schoolwork and education, for criticizing and commenting on something, and for news reporting, and for comedy or as parody of something. So fair use allows us to use others' work without permission, but only in certain ways in specific situations like the following. Number one, only use a small amount of the work. For example, you cannot copy the whole copyrighted song on your advanced video, on your dance video, but you can use a short portion of it. Number two, add new purpose to the work to make it original, meaning you transform the, you transform the original work into something new or different. Number three, use works that are nonfiction or based on fact. It is easier to claim fair use if the nature of the original work is non-fiction or based on fact rather than creative or fictional, because it means that the knowledge is already existing and not new for all. Number four, the effect of the new work should not affect the value of the original work, meaning you need to be mindful of the negative effect of the creator to the creator or value of the original content. For instance, are we charging for or making money of someone else's work? Okay, before we move on to the next part of our lesson, I want you to watch our today's guest, who will be sharing his expertise regarding intellectual property law. Property law. He is one of our colleagues in senior high school department. Let us hear it from Mr. Jeffrey R. Harapa. Magandang araw, uh, mga tagapakinig ng Teleradyo Marcelo at sa bumubuo ng Teleradyo Marcelo. Ako po si Sir Jeffrey Harapa at ako ay naririto upang magbigay ng kaunting uh, kaalaman patungkol sa intellectual property rights. Ano ang intellectual property rights? Ang intellectual property rights ay uh, mga karapatan ng mga taong lumikha sangayon sa kanilang intellectual na pamamaraan, gaya ng tula, Uh, dyaryo o libro o isang invention na hindi pa nag-i-exist sa atin. Upang mabigyan ng karapatan 
o ng sapat na karapatan ang mga may-ari ng mga intellectual properties na ito, ito ay dapat na nakarehistro sa, inter, sa intellectual property office. Okay? At ang mga uh, paglabag po sa intellectual property code na ito ay may karampatang parusa. Kagaya na lamang po ng isa sa mga kasong aking uh, uh, babanggitin ngayon. Ang kaso pong ito ay pinamagatang McDonald's versus McDonald's. Alam naman natin na ang McDonald's ay isang malaking kumpanya. Bagaman sa Naga City po, ay nagkaroon ang tatlong magkakaibigan ng pagkakataon na bumuo ng isang negosyo. Sila po ay nagtinda ng burger at french fries, nakagaya ng kagaya halos ng sa McDonald's. At dahil sa inspirasyon po nila ang McDonald's Company, pinangalanan po nila ang kanilang Uh, restaurant ng Mang Donald. Pagaman ito po ay nakarating sa uh, kaalaman ng McDonald's Company at sa pamunuan nila kung kaya sila po ay dinimanda upang maipasarado ang Macdo ang Mang Donald's Company. Sang ayon po sa international uh, sa inter intellectual property code for violation of intellectual property code. Ang sunod naman na, na kaso naman po ay uh, ay may patungkol sa Levi's Strauss. Alam naman natin na sikat ang Levi's Strauss. Kadalasan ito ay makikita natin sa mga mall. Bagaman na uh, medyo may kamahalan po ang kanilang mga maong pants. Okay? Dahil yun po ang primary uh, product nila, maong. Uh, meron pong isang kompanya sa Pilipinas na ginaya po mismo ang disenyo ng Levi's Strauss. At sila po ay uh, nahuli kung kaya sila po ay dinimanda ng Levi's Strauss. Okay? At dahil po ito ay nakarating sa Supreme Court, ang kataas-taasang hukuman po ay nagdesisyon na sila ay pagmultahin ng 168 US dollars. Okay? So, ang huling kaso naman po na may patungkol sa intellectual property uh, property uh, uh, code ay ang Louis Vuitton. Sikat na sikat ang Louis Vuitton sa mga bags nito at mga accessories kagaya ng wallet. Okay? So dahil ito po ay may kamahalan, ha? ito po ay may kamahalan, ito po ay uh, hindi rin nakaligtas sa mga Pilipino. Dahil sila po ay, uh, ang mga Pilipino po ay mahilig kumopya ng mga gawa, na original na gawa. At alam naman natin na ang Louis Vuitton ay patented, trademark, at may trademark at, may, at copyrighted. Meaning to say, iyan po ay nakarehistro sa Intellectual Property Office. Kung kaya, sabi ko nga po kanina, hindi po ito maaaring gamitin o baguhin o gayahin ng sino man nang walang pahintulot po ng Louis Vuitton. At uh, ang nangyari po sa kaso na ito ay, uh, ay uh, nakarating din po ito sa korte at ang mga tao po na involved dito, gaya ng mga tindera at gaya na rin ang mga may-ari ng tindahan na, na nagtitinda ng peking Louis Vuitton ay nakulong po sa loob ng siyam na buwan. Uh, meron pong nagtanong sa akin kamakailan lang patungkol din po sa intellectual property maaari daw po ba nating ipapotocopy o iserox ang mga libro nang walang pahintulot ng author nito ang sagot po dyan ay oo ano po ang prinsipyo na nasa ilalim nito ang various doctrine po ay isang prinsipyo na nagbibigay naman ng karapatan sa mga estudyante sa mga teacher o mga guro na nagdanais na uh, gamitin ang mga libro na ito. Ngunit ito po ay maaari lamang ipa-photocopy o reproduce ng limitado. Sapagkat hindi po natin ito maaaring gamitin pang benta at hindi rin po natin maaaring kopyahin ito at gawin natin uh, pansarili nating intellectual property. Okay? Dahil tayo po ay uh, makakasuhan ng tinatawag na uh, unlawful reproduction o kaya ay plagiarism o panggagaya. Okay, yun lamang po patungkol sa intellectual property rights at maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig. Thank you so much, Sir Jeffrey. We are very lucky for the significant information and knowledge that you have imparted to our beloved students. Okay, let us move forward on our second part of the lesson, which is ethical and societal issues of media and information. It includes plagiarism, cyberbullying, computer addiction, and digital divide. First is plagiarism. Plagiarism is an act or instance of using or closely imitating the language 
and thoughts of another author without authorization. The representation of that author's works as one owns as by not crediting the original author. Let us say some is right, someone is writing for a company news article and you find a great article online that is full of useful information. So you take several parts of the article, change some of the words in it, and submit it without giving credits to, to the owner of the article. That is plagiarism that can lead to serious consequences. In school, taking credit of someone else's work can make you fail in an assignment or class or face disciplinary action. In the workplace, it can damage your reputation and the reputation of the company you work for. Here is an example of an actual scenario of plagiarism from the GMA News Channel in YouTube way back year 2013. Samantala nag-sorry na ang UP graduate student na nanalo sa patimpalak gamit ang litratong hindi pala sa kanya. Nangako rin siyang isa sa uli ang nakuhang premyo pati sa iba pang contest kung saan plagiarized din ang kanyang entry. Saksi si Bernadette Reyes, exclusive. The ability to articulate very clearly is very important, especially when we talk of people-to-people -people diplomacy and intercultural understanding. Proud na proud ang UP student na si Mark Joseph Solis nang ihayag ang acceptance speech niya matapos manalo sa photo contest na Smiles for the World ng Chilean Embassy. Pero ang litrato ng bata na kunan daw niya sa Zamboanga, batang taga-Brazil pala talaga, na kinunan ng ito na si Gregory John Smith. Sa panayam ko kay Mark, abot-abot ang paghingi niya ng tawad. Sorry po sa nagawa ko kay Mr. Smith sa Chilean Embassy sa UP dahil nadadawag sa dito sa iba pa na nasaktan ko, umingiyo ako ng dispensa. Ang premium 1,000 US dollars mula sa contest, pandagdag daw sana sa gastusin ng kanilang pamilya, kabilang ang panggamot sa inang may sakit at kanyang pantwesyon. Pinakita pa niya sa akin ang sulat niya sa UP Chancellor para humingi ng palugit sa pagbabayad. Hirap din sa buhay, uh, Minsan, may gusto mo rin ng bagong gamit, kahit pa paano. Um, minsan, kapos sa tuition. In fact, ngayon, hindi pa ako nakakabayad ng tuition ko sa UP. So, matatapos na yung SEM, hindi pa ako nakakabayad. Ultimo ang bahagi ng inuupahan nilang bahay. Pinauupahan na rin nila sa iba para may pandagdag silang panggastos. Ang ina ni Mark, naiyak na lang sa nagawa ng anak. Sino bang magulang na gusto magkagano ng anak? Ano, talagang we're financially hard up lang talaga. And I would like to ask an apology kay Mr. Smith. Na sana naman patawarin niya na ang anak ko. Umamin din si Mark na gumamit siya ng mga hindi niya litrato sa iba pang patimpalak. Tulad ng Safe Peace Photo Contest ng Office of the Presidential Advisor on Peace Process o OPAP noong 2011. Handa raw siyang ibalik ang napanalunan dito. Meron din po, mga, may mga sinalian po akong competitions na hindi po akin yung photo. And I take full responsibility responsibility for those photos. Ang OPAP na nag na, hindi raw mag-aatubiling gumawa ng legal na hakbang kung mapatunayan guilty si Mark. Ayon sa ilang law expert, posibleng paglabag sa Intellectual Property Code ang haharapin ni Solis. Meron tayong mga provision ng batas ugol sa pamimeke or falsification. Pero ito ay magiging test case dahil um, wala pa akong nakikita ng kaso na isang pa-contest na ano, sampan ng gabi. Ang UP National College of Public Administration and Governance, kung saan kumukuha ng Masters in Public Administration si Solis, iniimbestigahan na kung maaaring masuspinde o mapatalsik si Mark na isa raw mabait na estudyante. We should be just and fair. Uh, kung merong mga infringement, may violation, may misconduct, ditignan natin kung anong mangyayari. Uh, pero yun nga, we should also be humane, di ba? Uh, so, tignan natin kung paano mababalanse. Habang wala pang desisyon, maaari pa raw pumasok sa klase si Mark. Nagkakaisa in condemning the act kasi mali naman talaga yung ginawa, di ba? Pero yun nga, uh, meron kasi tayong due process. We'll try our best that uh, he will be protected 
if he needs protection. Ako si Bernadette Reyes, ang inyong saksi. Okay. Let us always remember to keep track of your sources, do paraphrasing or quoting, and do not forget to give credit on the original author of the content you use. Second is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying takes place online by using electronic technologies such as cell phones, computer and tablets over communication tools, including social media sites, text messages, chat, and websites. There are many forms of cyberbullying, and the two of those are, it can be a form of harassment, where it, where it is intentional form of bullying that comprise of abusive and threatening messages sent to a child or a group. This can severely affect the child's mental well-being. Or it can be dissing, where an acquaintance or a friend sends and posts something cruel information about, about you online to damage your reputation. It can be humiliating photos, videos, websites, or fake profiles deliberately shared across social media. Here is an example of an actual scenario of cyberbullying from the GMA News Channel in YouTube way back year 2019. Nag-viral noong March 2018 ang video ng pagmumura at pananampal ng isang estudyante sa kapwa niya mag-aral sa Quezon. Bagaman na pag-ayos ang dalawang panig, matindi ang posibleng epekto nito sa batang binuli. Kumalat din ang larawan ng isang dalagitang walang saplot pang itaas sa ilang mag-aral sa Maynila. Ang pinaghihinalaan noon na nagpakalat ang kapwa niya estudyante. Nang kumprontahin ang biktima, umamin daw ang lalaki na alam niyang finotoshop o minanipula ang larawan pero hindi niya alam kung sino. Pinatalsik sa paaralan ng naturang esudyante dahil sa isa pang insidente ng pagpapakalat ng hubad na larawan ng kapwa mag-aaral. Ang mga ganitong insidente ang gustong tugunan ng Philippine National Police sa papasok na school year. Kaya bukod sa pagbabantay kontra kidnapping, pagpapasabog o panggugulo sa mga paaralan, tututukan daw ng 120,000 na mga pulis ang mga insidente at problema ng bullying, partikular na ang cyberbullying. Sa ngayon, may labintatlong kaso na raw ang nailapit sa kanila. Napakahalaga na ang ating mga biktima ay kaagad na makapagbigay ng uh, ulat sa ating pinakamalapit na pulis. Sila po ay dapat ay samahan ng kanilang magulang or ng any guardian. Napakahalaga po na agad ito ay ma-report sa ating pulis para agad maimbestigahan at uh, yung mga suspects ay mahulin. Batay sa datos ng DepEd, noong school year 2012 to 2013, may git isang libong kaso ng bullying ang inulat sa kagawaran. Ayon naman sa pag-aaral ng Council for the Welfare of Children at UNICEF na nilathala noong 2016, 65% ng mga kabataang tumugon sa survey ang nagsabing nakarana sila ng peer violence o bullying. Noong 2013, tuluyang naging batas ang Anti-Bullying Act. Inuobliga nito ang mga elementary at high school na magpatupad ng mga pulisiya para maiwasan ang pambubuli at magkaroon ng mekanismo upang ma-report at maimbestiga nito. Itinuturing na pambubuli ang pisikal na pananakit, pagbibitiw ng masasakit na salita at cyberbullying. Dagdag pa ng PNP, sa oras daw na makaranas ng pambubuli, agad itong isumbong sa mga otoridad. Marapat din na samahan sila ng mga magulang o guardian. Magdala rin ng ebidensya. Mamamahagi naman ang PNP ng pamphlet sa mga eskwelahan para magabayan ang mga nakararanas ng pambubuli. Mariz Umali, GMA News. If you are experiencing being cyberbullied, as you have learned on the video, do not respond or get revenge instantly because it can empower a bully and getting back at a bully turns you into one. Then good thing about bullying online or on phones is that it can usually be captured, saved, and shown to someone who can help. So if the things get worsened, you have the evidence and reach out for help who can listen, help you process what is going on, and work through it like a friend, relative, or maybe an adult you trust. Third is computer addiction. Computer addiction is the excessive use of computers to the extent that it interferes with daily life. This excessive use may, for example, 
interfere with work or sleep, resulting in problems to social interaction, or affect mood, relationships, and thought processes. In addition, there are warning signs of being computer addict, such as preoccupation of using internet or computer, restlessness, changes in mood, and lying about computer or internet use. Here is an example of an actual scenario of computer or online game addiction from the GMA News Channel in YouTube way back here, 2018. Igan Pia ang kawalan nga ng control at sobrang pagkahumaling sa paglalaro ng video at computer games ay itinuturing ng mental health disorder ng World Health Organization. Mahina ang isang oras sa mga tulad nilang suki sa mga computer shop at pisonet. Bihasa sa keyboard shortcuts, initi isang init sa computer shop at uuwi lang kapag inaantok na ang turing ng ilan sa kanila, adik sa computer games. Do you think na-addict kayo dyan sa games? <laughs> ha? Opo. Nakakalibang tate. Magkano yung nagagastos mo sa ganyan? <laughs> Pico. Per day? Ha? 100. Per day? 100 plus na rin mo. Ang 12 anyos na batang lalaking ito, halos gabi-gabing laman ng computer shop para maglaro ng crossfire. Gano'ng kalagal ka naglalaro? Ilang oras? Um, isang oras lang po. One hour lang? Ay po, para may control din. Kwento ng kanyang ina, dating araw ay pagkagising ng kanyang anak. Computer games na ang inaalmusal. Tapos, dumating po bang pagkakataon na hindi po mapasok para lang makapag-computer sa... O minsan po, magkunwari lang, kisyo daw, kisyo daw masakit, kisyo daw wala daw, wala daw pasok. Kita po na lang ng mga kaklas, eh, dumadaan. O, oh, mayroon palang pasok. O, sabi mo, wala. Minsan, hindi na nakakakain sa tamang oras ang bata. Hindi yun na adik sa pangyayari. Parang ganun. Mm -mm. Naka-addict sila. Ang pagka-addict sa video games, maituturing ng isang mental health disorder ayon sa World Health Organization. Paliwanag ng isang mental health expert ng WHO, nawawala na ng control sa paglalaro ang isang addicted gamer. Kaya naman nakakaligtaan na nitong kumain o di kaya ay matulog sa tamang oras o di kaya naman ay napapabayaan na ang pag-aaral o ang pagkatrabaho. Pero giit ng WHO, kakaunti lamang naman ang may ganitong health problem. Para hindi tuluyang maging addict gamer, makatutulong daw kung madedetect agad ang warning signs nito. Dadahan-dahanin mo, ipapaliwanag mo sa bata, idalhin mo siya sa doktor no, para ma-check yung katawan niya, sabayan ng counseling siguro. No? So you let the child express himself or herself kung ano yung nadudulot ng game na yon sa kanya. Kaya ang mami ng 12-year-old gamer, may kasunduan na sa kanyang anak. Gawin mo lahat ang obligasyon mo, tsaka kung na sila pinapayagan, pinayagan pagpunta sa kunting oras na lang. Sa kabataan, importanteng gabayan sila ng kanilang mga magulang para hindi sila maadik sa paglaro. Ang mga may edad, self-control ang kailangan. Live mula rito sa Quezon City, ako si Athena Imperial, ang inyong saksi. This is Digital Divide. Digital divide is an economic inequality between groups in terms of access to, use of, or knowledge of ICT. We Filipinos usually experiencing problem when it comes to equal access to modern information and communication technologies such as, such as internet, telephone, and personal computers. Consequently, like in this time of pandemic, many are unable to attend online classes inaccessibility to work, or even for online purchasing of their necessities from home. This happens especially if you are not born on, in, on the internet and digital era because you will, become, you will be encountering difficulties in adapting to modern technologies. Further, your socioeconomic status affects your purchasing cap capability to afford these gadgets and reliable internet access. Lastly, it depends on your skills if you have enough experience to explore the internet things and digital devices. Okay, so before we end our session today, let me just remind you of what we had talked about this afternoon. 
copyright is a legal legal device authorizing the creator of a literary piece, artistic work, musicals, or other creative compositions the sole right to publish and sell such work. Trademark is an easily recognizable symbol, phrase, or word that denotes a specific product. A patent is an, ex is an exclusive right that allows, that allows the inventor to exclude others from making, using, or selling the product of his invention during the life of the patent. Plagiarism is an instance of using or closely imitating the language and thoughts of another author without authorization. Cyberbullying is the bullying that takes place online. Computer addiction is the excessive use of computers to the, to the extent that it, that it interferes with daily life. Digital divide is an economic inequality between groups in terms of access to use of or knowledge of ICT. All right, let us check if you really listen in our discussion. I will be showing you so several statements and you need to analyze whether the statement is correct or not. If you think that the statement is correct, comment a happy face icon. And if you think that the statement is wrong, comment sad face icon. Are you ready? Let us start. Number one, IP, protected, IP is protected by law, which is the Republic Act number 8293 that gives people the right to earn recognition or financial benefit from what they invent or create. I'm up. What is your action? You are right. It is a happy place. The main social purpose of protection of copyright and related right is to encourage and reward creative work. Number two, it is all right to use or produce a copyright protected material, material for commercial purposes without permission of the without the permission of the copyright holder. Let's check your answer. You are right. It is a sad case. It is subject to copyright infringement if it causes negative effect to the creator or value of the original content. Number three. Patent protect, protects words, phrases, symbols, sounds, smells, and color schemes that is used to distinguish or describe the features of a product or service that the company provides. Time's up. If your, if your reaction or answer is a sad face, you are correct. It is a trademark that protects an easily recognizable symbol, phrase, or word that denotes a specific product, while patent is the granting of property right by a sovereign authority to an inventor. Number four, cyberbullying is any bullying behavior that takes place virtually and happens repeatedly. Let us check your answer. Very good, it is a happy place. Cyberbullying can occur through SMS, text and apps, or, or online in social media, forums, or gaming where people can view, participate in, or share content. Last, obtaining information or content from the work of another without acknowledging the source by citing a reference is considered plagiarism. Time up. The last item is a happy face reaction. Plagiarism is an act of claiming someone else's work or ideas as your own without asking for consent and acknowledging the original creator of the content. How many correct answers did you get? 
Congratulations! Give me a happy face. For the last part of our session, let me show you the last two activities that will serve as your homework. It is also the same modules that your teacher has given to you. You may submit your answers to your MIL teacher in the form of digital, written, or printed copy. Activity number six is about creating a campaign ad about being aware of the ethical, legal, and societal issues in media and information. You may submit it as a video or animation, infographics, word document with images, printed or handwritten with images or cutouts. Okay, this is the rubric for activity number three. And as you can see, we have the three, 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 three criteria, namely message, informative or meet, imagery, and persuasiveness. You will get 10 points for each criterion if the message is complete, clear, and easy to grasp its ideas by the viewers. Also, if the content of your ad is with references and all image, and all image is related to the ad. Lastly, when it has the ability of being convincing or persuading to your audience. Next, for the activity number seven, you are going to discuss or share of what you have learned in the proper use of media and information. First is, you are going to conduct a symposium to your family members at home or friends. Then, present to them the campaign ad you have created. After discussing it with them, create documentation with narrative report in the form of video, word document with images, or printed or handwritten or had hard copy. Here is the rubrics for activity number seven. Where the highest score you could earn is 50 if you completed all the expected requirements of this activity. That concludes our virtual learning for today. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot in our discussion. And before we bid goodbye, I will be leaving you a simple, friendly reminder. Don't be a bully, be a body by change.org. Again, I am Sir Limwell. Until next time on our next session of MIL in a Time of Pandemic here in Teleradio Marcelo and Telearalan ng Bawat Paloleño. Maraming salamat at ingat po tayong lahat. Makinig, manood, nasa Teleradio. Makinig, manood, nasa Teleradio. Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo. Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa dagakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo Kahit magkalayo Sa programang ito Tiyak ang pagkatuto Teleradyo Teleradyo Marcelo Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo, Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo.